During this lesson, you will be required to fill out a worksheet. I recommend you read through the worksheet before viewing the lesson. In order to give you time to do this, you can use the pause button at the bottom of the screen. Learning outcomes. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to state where petrol operated consaws should not be used, list three types of blade used for cutting with a consaw, list the advantages of using a diamond tip blade, list the benefits of using a guillotine when cutting paving material, and name three types of guillotine. Power saws. Bench or table saws are favoured for cutting large number of clay, bricks and masonry units on site. The floor saws are used for cutting control joints uh, to trench edges in concrete, tarmac and asphalt surfaces. The most commonly used tool by far, however, is the handheld cut-off saw or the con saw. Con saws. There are petrol engine models and electrically powered models although the latter tend to be used on sites where electricity supply is not an issue. The electric models are very similar to large angle grinders. These are more efficient as they don't have to be constantly refilled with petrol. Note, petrol engine models should never be used in, un in an unventilated area. They can suck all of the oxygen out of a room and fill it with carbon dioxide in the space of 10 minutes. So therefore only electrically operated consoles should be used internally. Types of blades. So it is the size and type of blade that determines how effective a power saw will be. Most of the saws used by contractors will have a 230mm to 300mm diameter blade with a typical speed of 3000 to 7500 uh, rotations per minute. There are three common groups of blade types and there are different grades or qualities within each of these groups. The diamond blades are usually further classified as wet cut uh, where the blade is continually cooled and the dust dampened by a stream of water or dry cut. So there are three common groups of blade types. One is abrasive for cutting stone or concrete. Two is abrasive for cutting steel or metal and three is the diamond tipped, normally used for cutting stone and concrete. Most contractors will rely on a diamond tip blade because they offer a longer working life and more importantly a constant depth of cut. The abrasive blades wear down after each cut. Block and slab splitters. They come in a large, uh, they come in a range of sizes capable of handling materials from brick size up to flagstones. They are simple to use, require only the most rudimentary of training to use, have no lethal moving parts, generate virtually no dust, are simple to maintain and can be used on a wide variety of paving types. Another name for a slab splitter is a guillotine. Block and slab splitters. There are three basic types. The first is the manually operated for smooth regular pavers. So we have three and four sided uh, blades which are uh, rotatable. The brick is placed in between them. Pressure is applied using a lever. Blades come down, compress the brick in between them and snap the brick. The second type there are the uh, manually operated with individual tooted blades for pavers with irregular surfaces as seen in the photograph opposite. And the tour type are uh, the hydraulic. These are used for uh, big awkward stuff such as thick stone paving. Conclusion. Petrol operated consoles should never be used in unventilated areas such as inside a house. There are three common groups of blade types. One, abrasive for cutting stone and concrete. Two, abrasive for cutting steel and metal. And three, diamond tipped, used for cutting stone and concrete. A diamond tip blade is preferred as it offers a longer working